Hey there. What do you want, soldier? Can't you see I'm busy? Busy? Busy with what? That's none of your concern. Now tell me why you're wasting my time, and your reason better be good. I'm sorry, sir. Elder Maxon wanted me to meet you personally. He's just promoted me to knight, and gave me a list of names to follow up on. You were next on my list, sir. I see. Well, it's good to meet you then. Any friend to Elder Maxon is a friend to me. My name is Augustus Autumn, but you will address me as Field Marshal. Is that understood? Field Marshal? I didn't know the Brotherhood had Field Marshals. Isn't the Brotherhood the continuation of the American military? Yes, it is. The Brotherhood of Steel is the embodiment of the United States military, but the United States itself is long gone. Therefore, the Elder of the Brotherhood has the right to create whatever ranks he so desires, or take them away. He is essentially the President, and as such, he has designated me to be the Brotherhood's Field Marshal, a title I've done my best to live up to with honor. As Field Marshal, I serve as the operational commander of the Brotherhood's ground forces. Nothing happens in this army without my approval. On top of that, I also serve as Elder Maxon's personal advisor. Most official decisions he makes are made with my direct involvement. He has my absolute loyalty and respect, and he better have yours too. There is no finer man to serve as America's leader than Elder Maxon. Certainly, Field Marshal. Good. Now I need to visit our forces across the Commonwealth, make sure they're complying with regulation and are in top shape for fighting. Since Elder Maxon trusts you, I'd like you to serve as my personal bodyguard. Grab your things and come with me. You want me to be your bodyguard? Shouldn't you already have one? I don't see how that's any of your concern, but no. Star Paladin Cross is chief of security for our army's leadership. However, she serves the Elder first, and everyone else second, and I need someone I can trust to protect me in the field. That said, will you do it? Yes, sir. I'm all ready to go. Perfect. We move out immediately. Here's what I've got. I hope you choose to bless me with a nuclear warhead. I hope you choose to bless me with a nuclear warhead. Hey. How can I be of service? Your thoughts? I've been branded a villain many times before, and I agree that I deserved it. But to name me one now would just be ignorant. I've changed my ways. Your thoughts? Never doubt Elder Maxon's ability to lead us to victory. He's done it before, and he will do it again. The Institute can count on it. Your thoughts? I've been branded a villain. What? Your thoughts? If my sources are correct, what's left of the Enclave has found its way here to the Commonwealth. You should find and eradicate them immediately. I need you to get out of your power armor. Do you need your eyes checked? I'm not wearing any power armor. It's time for you to head home. Understood. I'll be at the airport should you need me again. Hey there. Ad Victoria, my friend. Do you have further need of my services? Tell me about yourself. What's your story? As you well know, I serve as Field Marshal to the Brotherhood of Steel, and therefore am its operational commander. That alone should be enough. Though, I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you more about who I am. God knows I've been suppressing the past for long enough anyways. Very well then. I was born on an oil rig, if you'd believe it, into a secretive organization that claimed to be the continuation of the American government. This organization called itself the Enclave, and they did some nasty shit that looking back was downright awful, absolutely inhumane. In 2242, that oil rig was destroyed by a vault dweller who came to be known as the Chosen One. My father and I barely escaped with our lives. 
Soon after, my father was contacted by John Henry Eden, who claimed to be the next president. He ordered us to move the Enclave east to Washington. We did exactly that, and what remained of the Enclave suffered for it. Our main base in the west, Navarro, was conquered by the NCR after we left. Anyways, by that point, we were at Raven Rock, a large nuclear bunker that was designed to protect top government officials in the event of disaster. Over the years, I grew up to become the commander of the Enclave in the Capital Wasteland, and I held the rank of Colonel. I was Colonel Autumn, and as Colonel, I'd learned of the atrocities committed by those I'd considered my friends and allies, and I hated it. I wanted to change our path. You see, the Enclave viewed anyone tainted by radiation to be inferior and labeled them as mutants, as if they were nothing more than pests. I tried to work with President Eden to shift our focus toward rebuilding the world instead of killing those we didn't like, but he wouldn't budge. Then in 2277, 10 years ago, everything changed. The Brotherhood and some scientists were working on a thing called Project Purity, and he wanted it. Project Purity was very close to being operational, and Eden saw it as the perfect opportunity to get rid of the trash. So we moved on it. We moved on it, and we lost. You see, the Brotherhood had the help of a Vault Dweller, and just like before, the Vault Dweller decimated the Enclave. He, and he alone, destroyed Raven Rock after I took him prisoner. He led the charge against Project Purity, and he took me prisoner in return for it. He killed President Eden. He rained hellfire down on our mobile crawler at Adams Air Base, and he seized or blew up everything the Enclave held dear. That vault dweller, the Lone Wanderer, became the Brotherhood's first ever field marshal. He became a legend to the people of the Capital Wasteland. And once he was done wiping the Enclave off the map and shredding its entire existence, he gave me a choice. I could either be executed where I stood and tossed aside, or I could join the Brotherhood and try to make amends for the Enclave's atrocities. Obviously, I chose the latter. I hated what the Enclave became, and I abandoned it to its grave. I know I made the right choice in doing so. Anyways, the lone wanderer disappeared as fast as he had shown up. Nobody knows what happened to him. But after everything I did, he saved my life. I was stripped of my title as Colonel, and I was forced to learn everything about the Brotherhood, its history, its rules, its structure, everything. After years of proving myself to the Brotherhood, I was promoted to Field Marshal by Elder Maxon. He showed me I belong here, and he has my loyalty. Now, I know that was a lot, but I've done everything I could to clear my name and make up for past mistakes. I know I've gained Maxon's respect. So, are you satisfied? I just gave you my entire life story, and now I just want to move on from it. You need to respect that. So, let's go. I'd like to travel together some more. Now that's just what I wanted to hear. If you run into any synths, shoot to kill. We don't take prisoners. <clears throat> How can I be of service? Your thoughts? The Minutemen seem capable of providing proper governance to this land, but I'm concerned their military doesn't stand a chance. We'll have to see. Your thoughts? The Minutemen seem capable of providing... Your thoughts? The Minutemen seem capable of... Your thoughts? There's talk of the NCR having a presence nearby. They've eradicated every enemy that ever stood against them, including the Brotherhood out west. They're a powerful enemy. Definitely not one to be messed with, we should be careful. Nothing. Never mind. Then what are we standing around for? Let's get a move on! <laughs>